All right, you guys, you're going to love how easy this is. Uh, graphing trig functions, we'll keep using the sine graph for now. Uh, vertical and horizontal shifts. Okay, back to grade 7. Y equals X. Um, quite easy. There you go. Well, uh, Y equals X plus 1 meant we popped up the Y axis one unit and moved, this, moved the line up the whole way. Just zip. Okay. That represented a vertical shift of positive 1. Ah, oh, I think I have a foot cramp in my foot. Ouch. Um, mm. So, and uh, x minus 1 would have been down here. So we would have had uh, a vertical shift down negative. Okay? Really easy. We'll deal with vertical first. This is just how easy it is. Here's your sine curve. Okay? Um, plus 3, minus 3. So it's, uh, we have y equals 3 sine theta. I'll just keep it nice and easy. Okay? So there we go. So there's 2 pi. Nice and easy. Well, guess what? If we have this, y equals 3 sine theta plus 2, we pop this guy up two positions. There's minus 1, there's plus 5. I'm going to just show it over on a, on a different uh, graph here. Why did I write that like that? Okay, so anyway, here becomes our new boundaries. We moved it up to, so our low boundary is now negative 1, and our high boundary is now plus 5. So I'm doing this because I got this in the road and I just didn't plan ahead. Okay, So our middle would clearly be not 0 anymore, but plus 2. Okay, we moved this up to as well. So on this here, uh, we, have, we, we didn't negate anything, so simply put, this is, here's our middle. Here. There's our just like that. Okay, nice and clean. I'll do it like this. We've moved everything up two numbers. Okay, we're down here, up two. That's what I'm really trying to draw here. Two pi. Piece of cake. That's a vertical shift. Guess what? If you did a negative vertical shift. You're moving down, but I'm not going to even go through that because you're too intelligent for that. Um, okay, horizontal shifts I'll do in the next video. Real quick.